R-A-H-O-M-I, Elam Lee McSweeney slams Bravo and has filed a suit for supposedly hiding the truth. She is one of many stars from the network who are slamming the BTS operations. So, what exactly did she claim transpired during her two seasons? Read on for more details. R-A-H-O-N-Y, Leah McSweeney slams Bravo, filed suit for hiding truth. Leah McSweeney burst onto that RHONMI scene in season 12 after Bethany Frankel departed. She had quickly bonded with Tinsley Mortimer, who joined in season 9 through Sanja Morgan. The thing about Leah was that she was a single mother with a thriving business, married to the mob. Of course, with her tattoos and unfiltered mouth, she rubbed Ramona Singer the wrong way. Yet, she made amazing television when she threw tiki torches and did whatever she wanted. Unfortunately, season 13 was a train wreck all around, and she was struggling mentally and emotionally. Though Lee did return for season 3 of RHUGT in Thailand, she was not well received. She has since done a lot of work on herself and is living her best life, launching a podcast. Plus, she has an incredibly well-received book, so she is thriving. However, McSweeney's time on RHONI was less than stellar, and it caused her to take action. According to Page Six, it all goes back to Vanity Fair's expose article about the wrongdoings that transpired. Now, back in March 2023, Lee had filed a discrimination complaint against Bravo and more with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. So, it made sense that Page Six wanted to know her thoughts on V.S. explosive piece. Leah McSweeney had this to say. Andy Cohen, Bravo, and production company shed all need to give their PR teams a bonus. They worked in overdrive to try to hide the truth. Though Bravo wanted to resolve any falsehoods that came out in the article, Leah's words speak volumes. Allegedly, she shared that she was made to believe that if she did R-A-G-G-T, she would end up back in the Bravoverse on another show. A bad idea. Though the R-A-G-G-T sounds like a lot of fun for someone who wants to get away and has had their show canceled, this was not the case for Leah McSweeney. She admitted that after season 13 of R-A-G-O-N-Y, she actually ended up in a psychiatric hospital. Therefore, Stepping away from Bravo and all that came with it may have been for the best. However, she claims she was lured back by production, which included Andy Cohen himself. This Vanity Fair piece made such waves that actually caused Ramona Singer to get banned from the upcoming BravoCon 2023. When she was asked about a racial slur she had used in season 13 of RHONY, which had been speculated about previously, she attempted to defend herself. Unfortunately for Ramona, she ended up using the word she claimed she never used, and that caused her to be removed from the panel. Do you believe Leah McSweeney's accusations and think there have been some shady dealings within Bravo? Let us know in the comments below. The lawsuit alleges a breach of contract and fraud, asserting that Bravo's actions have not only damaged McSweeney's reputation, but have also impacted her personal and professional life. Sources close to the reality star suggest that she is seeking not only financial compensation, but also a public apology and a commitment from Bravo to be more transparent in their editing and production practices. The legal dispute has opened a Pandora's box of questions regarding the authenticity of reality TV, especially within the context of the Real Housewives franchise, known for its dramatic twists and turns. Fans have long been aware that reality shows involve a certain degree of scripting and editing to enhance entertainment value, but McSweeney's lawsuit suggests a more deliberate effort to manipulate the narrative. Bravo, in response to the lawsuit, issued a brief statement asserting the network's commitment to upholding the highest standards of transparency and ethical conduct in their productions. However, the network stopped short of directly addressing Ms. Weenie's specific allegations. Industry experts anticipate a protracted legal battle with potential ramifications for the future of reality TV, as other cast members may feel emboldened to speak out against perceived injustices. The controversy surrounding Ms. Sweeney's lawsuit 
has sparked a larger conversation about the impact of reality TV on the mental health and well-being of its participants. Many argue that the intense scrutiny and editing practices contribute to a toxic environment that can adversely affect the mental health of those involved. As the legal battle unfolds, fans of RHON Yi find themselves caught in a web of uncertainty, wondering how the outcome will shape the future of their beloved reality show. The lawsuit could potentially lead to a shift in the industry, prompting networks to reevaluate their editing and production processes to ensure a more authentic representation of the lives of reality stars.